Hello my friends and welcome back to All The Mods 9. Now it's a big day today, we've had a massive update to the mod pack. I've always been nervous of updating the pack because you never know what's going to brick your world and absolutely destroy everything you've worked for. But we've gone from version I think 0.6 all the way up to I think what 0... 1.12... Anyway, the latest version as the video goes out is what we're playing. And to celebrate this new update, what we're going to be doing is going after one of the biggest things you can do in All The Mods 9. That's right, we're going to be chasing all the modium ore. I'm going to show you guys exactly how you grab it and the most important things you should do once you have your first bits of All The Mod ore. So let's jump in and get to it. Now it's not the only change, uh, there's also a whole bunch of mods have been added including Mechanism is now in the pack and that's very exciting indeed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to design a create laboratory that I can get my builders from mine colonies to build for me so that we can have a great place to get started with Mechanism when we jump into that. Okay, so all the modium ore, what is the first step? Well number one, we're going to need to find some all the modium ore. And a quick look over here shows us that, yeah, just like in the other versions, it's only found in one biome. It's found in deep dark biomes, in cave walls and ceilings uniformly. Player mineable only, not quarryable. Now that's always a bit, you know, misleading, because the thing about a quarry is, if a quarry digs everything except the all the modium ore, what you're left is a big blank space where you can clearly see exactly where all the modium ore is, but we're not going to be using a quarry, we're just going to be digging for it the old fashioned way. So we need to find a deep dark biome, and so for that we're going to need a nature's compass. Put this on our bar, right click, and if we type in dark, here we go, deep dark, and this will give us the nearest location of a deep dark biome. How far away? Oh man, we're in luck, it's only 600 blocks away in that direction. Amazing. So we know where to look. Now when we find it we're going to need something that can dig the actual block. Now I believe a diamond level pickaxe should be fine and luckily enough we've got this lengthy infernal forge of quarrying which is basically a diamond level pickaxe. But I am also going to bring along my iron pickaxe here with a diamond tip just in case the hammer doesn't work because you can never be too careful. Let's slot the goggles onto my cosmetic. There we go, that's a fresh look. And get to the hunt. I've prepared, as you can see, some chili relleno. So yeah, some of you guys in the comment section, well, more than some, a lot of you guys in the comment section were pretty upset that I was mispronouncing this chili dish. It's actually pronounced relleno. And you know what, that kind of makes sense, so I guess in the Spanish language, when you're talking about dishes, anything that's a double L is more like a Y, and that makes sense, right, because you don't eat tortillas. You eat tortillas. Hurricane Tortilla? Now there's been a few changes around the farm, like some buildings have been upgraded and I've put down some retaining walls, but this episode isn't about the colony, we're going to focus on getting this all the modium ore. So I've got my jetpack here, which is going to need some more fuel in the form of lava, so I'll just go and quickly fill that up, and then we can get towards finding this deep dark biome. Okay, so compass locked into position, let's go and find this deep dark biome. Now it's actually really, really, really close. Look at this, like 350 blocks away now you can see. But the deep dark is also, well, as you can imagine, deep underground. So we want to be finding a way to get down to the lower levels of the world. Here we go, so if we dig straight down right here, we'll eventually get to the deep dark. So do you know what, forget Martin Littlewood, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Got my ulti mine tool, and let's just keep digging straight down. If I find lava, I've got a jetpack so I can just swoop out of it. Okay, so down we go into the belly of the beast. Now we're also going to find some pretty sweet ores. So basically, yeah, finding all the modium ore is very important in all the mods 9. 
for one big reason. Diamonds are essential to, what's this, Deep Slate? Diamonds are essential to, to any kitchen sink mod pack, but especially to all the mods nine. There's a lot of things you need diamonds for. And diamonds are really uncommon in the overworld. They're really hard to find. You can find them, but it's much harder than vanilla. The reason why is because most diamonds will be in somewhere called the mining dimension. And the only way to get to the mining dimension is with all the modium ore. So that's absolutely the first thing we should be doing once we get that ore. Oh, boom, here we go. Quest completed. Visit the deep dark. So let's take a look at these quests while we're here. It's a button up here, the book, quests, and boom. First up, a big thank you to all of these heroes down the bottom because these guys put together the all the mods mod packs. And you know what? It's a lot of work, so massive thank you guys. There's a button in the top right that lets us collect all the rewards we've currently gathered. That is seven, I think that's XP bottles, a stake, infernium, beehive, torch, and a mystical agriculture book. But if it's quests you're looking for, you've got to look for the arrow on the left. Here we go, right, yeah. So, basically, almost every mod that you can explore in All The Mods 9 has a quest chain associated with it. And these quests will guide you along the mod and show you how to work it. Anyway, that's what we're going to do next episode. We're going to have a big old quest smash. But this episode is all about All The Modium Ore. So where are we looking at now? This direction... Yeah, it says we're in the deep dark, but I can't see much at the moment. Ooh, nice and tough. That'll come in handy. Because it is quite tough to find. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, we found some diamonds. Amazing. What a find. Get in my belly. Here we go. J for journey map. And we're looking for like a big exposed cave. To the north, I can see there's something over here. So that's the direction we're going in. Nice, Osmium. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, Skulk. Now, I'm not super worried about upsetting the Warden because I can fly. And being able to fly really does just, you know, nerf the Warden massively. But we're looking for all the Modium Ore. Man, it's really dark down here. Oh, hang on a sec. We could be really, really, really lucky. No, that's gold. Okay, so I've searched high and low, and it looks like this deep dark biome doesn't have very many caves, and it doesn't have any all the modium ore in the walls. We've been a bit unlucky, and this could happen to you guys at home as well. It might not be the first deep dark biome that you find that has the all the modium ore. So we're going to head to the surface and see if we can find another deep dark biome. Okay, guys, whoa. Look at this thing. So basically I realized because my game was so old, I was going around all regenerated territory and not finding any all the modium ore because basically where I'd been, there wasn't any that had been spawned. So I had to go to fresh chunks, generate new deep dark biomes. So I had to come pretty far off the map all the way down here. And in my journeys, I have discovered this crazy mother trucker. Look at this. It's like a, a sky cloud island, and it's pretty sprawling, it's pretty huge. So let's go nerd pole up and see what's on top of this bad boy. Oh my god, this is freaking amazing. Can you imagine a mine colony that's completely on one of these floating islands? That would be crazy. But beyond that, there's actually not much going on up here. I can't see any structures. It's just a pretty wacky forest. And the minimap says this biome is called Skylands. Well, that's a shame. So there's not much going on here, but if you're looking for a place to put a base, one of these Skylands could be a pretty freaking amazing place to do it. Anyway, let's find that deep dark biome. Man, it is super tough to find though. It takes you a long, long, long time. But also, don't be afraid to dig into the deep dark biomes because you never know when you're going to find an... Oh my god, <laughs> wow, that's insane. So we found like a little kind of cave here. And there we go, all the modium slates ore in a deep dark biome. Now, ordinarily, you might say that it'd be a good idea for us to dig this with maybe Silk Touch or even um, Fortune. But we're just going to dig it with the regular old hammer because all we're going to need is four all the modium nuggets. There we go, look at this. So raw all the modium ore is used in a smelter to make an ingot. And an ingot makes us 
Nine nuggets, so that's exactly what we need. Let's head home. Mission accomplished. Okay, so we're back at base and we have our all the modium ore. Here it is. Looks kind of star shaped and what can we do with it? What's the best way to get the most bang for our buck with this piece of ore? Well, it's used with an ore hammer to make two dust. That'll get us two ingots. So anything you do with a clump of iron ore to duplicate your ore, you can also do with all the modium ore. So while it might be worth sometimes going through like a mechanism setup so that you can get three ingots from one all the modium ore, roughly, we're going to stick to the good old fashioned ore hammer because we only really need four ingots to get us going. So I've got the ore hammer here, the raw all the modium ore and boom, two dust. Now we're going to put the dust into the jumbo furnace. There we go, two all the modium ingots. Now we can put this into the crafting bench. We're gonna create nine nuggets. And the most important thing for us to craft is gonna be the teleportation pad. Here we go. We'll need one ender pearl, four nuggets. And bam, this will give us access to the mining dimension. And the mining dimension is the absolute best place to look for all the modium ore. While it spawns in deep dark biomes in the overworld, it's super hard to find there. All you really want to do is find that first piece of ore. Don't waste your time finding any more. So we'll find a nice place to put this teleport pad. And I like to keep my teleport pads near to my computer system. In fact, this chest is empty, so let's get rid of this. And we'll put it over here in the corner. There we go, nice and discreet. Doesn't need any form of power or charge. So if we crouch on this, wait, how does this work? It should take us to the to the mining dimension. Do I right click? No, not with a torch in my hand at least. There we go, right click with an empty hand and boom, we are in the mining dimension. Oh man, talk about liminal spaces. So the mining dimension is actually a really cool place. It's another dimension that is 100% super flat. So if you actually wanted to set up an entire mine colony out here with flat land, that is absolutely something you could do. However, we're gonna use it for its intended function and that is finding all the modium ore. So let's go back to base. So we have the teleport pad now, that's amazing. Now we can go to the mining dimension, which is the best place to find all the modium ore. But once we're there, how are we gonna find it? It's a big old place, it could be anywhere. Well, that brings us on to what we're gonna do with the rest of our all the modium ore. We are gonna be making one of these potions from Potion Master. It's a potion of all the modium site, which is gonna show us, highlight for us, all of the all the modium ore hidden in the world. It doesn't have a massive range, but it's more than big enough to help us find what we need. And it's very simple to make with a brewing stand, a bunch of mundane potions, and some calcinated all the modium powder, we can make one. You get calcinated powder by smelting all the modium powder, and you get all the modium powder by grinding up all the modium ingots with ender powder, mortar, and a pestle. And this is why it's really good to use an ore hammer on that first bit of all the modium ore so that you get enough ingots to do this whole thing. But let's get going. So a pestle isn't too tricky. Let's go into the computer and start making these things. Boom, there's a pestle. We'll need the mortar as well. Got all the bits for that. And ender powder, which is again an ender pearl with a pestle and a mortar. And we got three of those, perfect. And we're also gonna need a brewing stand. Now I'm fairly sure I've gathered a brewing stand from somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Time to put this bad boy in action. And let's just plonk it on top of this furnace, why not? So what are we going to need? Well, we're going to need some blaze powder, of course, as fuel to make the potions. We're going to need some water bottles so that we can make some mundane potions. One, two, three should do. And we're going to need to make the mundane potion. So how do you make a mundane potion? Memory refresher time. Pretty simple. You put basically anything in the top, three in the bottom, and you get a mundane potion. So I think we might as well use spider's eyes. I think I've got a few of those. Boom. 
boom, boom, boom. There we go. So three mundane potions. Let me put those in the bottom. Some more blaze powder in the top. And now let's get to work with the pestle and mortar. We're going to need that other ingot that we got. There we go, the all the modium ingot. Pestle and mortar with the ender pearl to get us the ender powder. And then all the modium ingot with the ender powder to get the all the modium powder. So you use the powder to get calcinated, you use the calcinated to get the potion. But there's also something else you can do. If you can get three of these potions, you can get a charm. And a charm of all the modium site has a bit more durability. It's basically what you want to do with your first bits of all the modium so you can find even more. So curiously enough, we can't actually smelt the all the modium powder in the jumbo furnace. We're going to have to use the good old regular furnace for this. So a piece of charcoal, if you don't mind. And that's just one of the quirks. Some recipes just don't work with modded furnaces. There we go, calcinated. Chuck this into the brewing stand. Here we go. Oh yeah, and we're making the potion. While that is brewing, I'm going to grab my dank and see if I can upgrade this because the dank is really going to help us filter out some of the cobblestone and junk. But while we're here, let's upgrade the dank as well into a dank too. That's going to give us even more capacity. So we'll put this on our bar. Oh wow, yeah, look at that. So we get actually three potions of all the modium site. So actually turning this into a charm right away might be a really good idea. I've got blaze powder in here. Let's give it a go. One, two, three. And so while you can use the potions, the charms are actually a little bit better. Okay, let's clear our pack and get hunting for all the modium. So here we are. We've got our hammer with basically infinite durability. We're going to dig ooh, a nice big tunnel that goes as far down as we kind of dare. And this will give us like a... Oh, what's this? Cassiterite vein. Oh, time for some more relleno. And it looks like the dank is working and we're getting cobblestone in here as well. Perfect. Now the mining dimension is a deep one, but as you can see, it remains stone until you get to a certain level where it becomes deep slate. So we have a nice big hole now. We're going to right click on the site. Here we go. It's in action. Now what we should start to see as we go down is white squares. Oh, we keep finding these veins, but I don't see the veins. We should see white squares appear in the world, and that's where the all the modium is. Oh, but like I said, yeah, diamonds. You're going to find loads more diamonds in the mining dimension, and that's why it's a really important idea to get there pretty quickly, because it's just much more consistent than the overworld, where diamonds are very rare indeed. Oh my god, yeah, there's loads of diamonds here. We are actually getting more profit from the diamonds here than we are from all the modium, because all the modium is great, it's useful for all the mods, but diamonds, they're a real girl's best friend. But this charm isn't going to last forever. We need to find this all the modium. Where is it? So we've looked on this level where there's all stone. Let's try the deep slate level now below, because that could be where this sucker is hiding. Oh my god, and like I said, even more diamonds. Crazy. Welcome to Diamond City. Oh, hello, we have our first customer. So it looks like we have a piece of all the modium ore down there. Here it is. Oh, yes, just a single one. But you know what? That's more than good enough. And oh my god, yeah. So you have to come down to the slate level. But once you do, we are finding this stuff all over. Let's keep it going. There's some over there. Oh, there's some over here as well. Some up there. Oh, man, we really are spoilt for choice. There she blows. And again, more diamonds. So another good reason why you want to be making an all the modium site charm rather than a potion is when you're done you can literally just come over here 
right click it and you're done. You don't waste any durability and you don't have to mine for exactly two and a half minutes to get the most bang for your buck. Almondine, or man, I've never done Greg Tech, but getting all of these ores is kind of making me think I want to. This has been an insanely successful mining trip. Look at this. I've got 64 plus one diamonds, some almondine, a bunch of copper and aluminium, but most importantly now, we've got three more raw olimodium ore, which with an ore hammer we can turn into six ingots. And with some mechanism or maybe even a mine colony's smeltery upgrade, we can turn it into even more ingots. Okay, time to head home. Oh man, mission accomplished, huge success. But I hear you asking, why should we even be going for all the modium ore? What is there to do with it? Well, there's a few things that you're gonna need all the modium for. For example, with an ingot, you can do things like a netherite to all the modium furnace upgrades. Basically, most things that have like a netherite upgrade or a diamond upgrade, can go as far as all the modium, which is a tier above, even more impressive. There's energy cells, generators, but there's a couple of really huge recipes that you're gonna want all the modium for. For example, a structure compass. That sounds freaking incredible. Any structure in the game that you can find, you can use the compass to get there. So if you wanna find that nether fortress, boom, this is the best way to do it. You can also combine all the modium with netherite armor to make it massively better. And there's also tools. The pickaxe itself is pretty freaking good. It's also used in Ars Nouveau combined with the other two very rare ores and minerals to make some pretty crazy stuff. All the modium alloy blade, 47 attack damage. That's freaking nuts. 51 attack damage for the battle axe. Very cool. It's got a lot of uses, but most importantly, it's pretty integral to some of the All the Modium quests. Take a look here, there should be a tab that is specifically All the Modium. Is it the main quest line? It might be, let's take a look at it. Yeah, over here. So this is what we could have done, but we've been playing since before the quests went in. So we've kind of managed to skip most of these. However, this is a really good route for you to follow if you've just started All the Mods 9. And down here you can see the end of the quest chain is getting all the modium ore, turning it into a teleport pad, and then there's the other dimension, the beyond, and the mining dimension. Wow, these two sound pretty impressive. But I think maybe next episode is going to be a big old quest smash where we try and get through as many of these as we can and see if there's anything we've missed along the way. Because like I said, these quests are a great thing for you to follow and use to explore the mod pack to its fullest. Well, I've been Stjin, and a massive thank you for watching this episode of All The Mods 9. And this episode, I showed you exactly how to find all the modium ore and what to do with your very first ingot. If you watch this far into the video, I want you to put in the comment section the name of one of the two other super rare ores in the All The Mods mod packs. But until next time, guys, take care.